going on guys this is jake with stony rc uh, this is a couple kits we just set up for bashing uh, they're basically 110 scale buggies but we converted them into little trucks um, these are the pro line c10 top bodies they're probably the most durable body that i've ever tried and we got them on both the cars um, i'll go ahead and pull the top off this is the techno eb48 buggy with uh, mt410 2.0 shock towers and body mounts uh, these are the short course actually sct410 body mounts in the front and in the back these are the mt410 um, and I take the shock towers from MT410 2.0 and put them on, because it's the same bulkheads as the buggy, put them on the buggy, put the bumpers and skids that all mounts right on there. I'm um, running the buggy front shocks in the front here, and then I'm running a set of front shocks from one of my serpent book kits in the back, because all the back ones are too long. Um, then we've got a Hobby Wing Max A G2 system, so 2250. It's going to be a lot. We're only running for us though. Um, and then we have, I have like plus five hub extenders from Serpent that are already on here. Um, so I'm about, I don't know, it's like 14 and a half or so wide. Uh, but it's good. I don't like the spider look. I like it when it looks like a truck still. Um, and then this is the TLR Tune Typhoon. Um, and then he's got obviously the same top here. And then uh, for body mounts, we were able to mount, what are these from? The I believe it's the Arma Sentin. It's it's the part number is ARAC3477, but yeah. I, I think it's the Sentinel. So these body mounts, we were able to bolt. We just moved the shocks over a little bit. We were able to use shock holes in the shock towers and mount these right on here. And then you just use the normal Arma body mounts. And then the same with the rear. Um, so you don't have to drill any holes or anything. So that way you can mount any top you want for the trucks. And these tops are really nice because it's very it's flat in the bed and it's got a big hood so you can you have plenty of room. Um, I originally got these with the kit to take the wing off. Cause that's why i ordered the sentin piece yeah, so i could take the wing off and then these just happened to line up and we made them actually work better than i thought yeah and then he's running the same system it's the max ag2 it's the newer version though it has a different on and off switch than mine it's slightly different than what my car comes with you know i got the set button he does not add on it anymore they must have changed it in a short amount of time 2250 um you got a 15 tooth pinion in here 15 tooth in here too stock gearing I am. I do have a plastic spur still. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, this one comes metal already. It's got aluminum top plate already, which is nice. All the TLR parts. Yeah, all the ABDC blocks are all. Yeah, they're all nice with the pit, you know the pills in there. And then he has uh, RPM bumpers for just uh, just the Creighton bumpers for RPM, and he just put them front and back because the bulkheads are the same. So he's got them front and back, so he has a little bit of bumpers still. Um, now, other than that, everything else is basic. You know, we're going to run four us in this guy too, because that's all you need. This car is slightly wider because he has hot racing plus five millimeter hub extenders. And these are just, for some reason, they're a little less. And then these also have the half inch because of the pro line Badlands. They have a half inch offset. So you kind of have to run these to get the width you need so they're not running the body, rubbing on the body and stuff. So this one's 14 and three quarters wide. Yeah, it's like a quarter inch more. Um, this one hasn't been driven yet, obviously, you can tell. It's all clean and nice. But yeah. the arm or the TLR tune parts are very nice, nice gold everywhere. And, you know, the A, B, and C, and D blocks are all nice, and then the shock towers are really thick already. So, and it's nice, it already has little covers here for the shocks. But this is a pillow ball in the front, too, which is really durable, so that's a good thing. Uh, we're running ProTech 170 SBL servo in here, aluminum servo horn. This is like a, I don't know, like a no pro RC or whatever um, mine is, but. It's good for bashing, stainless steel gears. Um, but yeah, so we got Techno and then we got the Arma, basically a TLR tuned. Uh, we'll see how they go. We're gonna do some running. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you went a little faster, it'd be perfect.
Oh, that would have been sweet. <laughs> Got my cotter pins? Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wasn't even walking. So, so stupid. I'm so Did you hit it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>